Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrew. I'm a vintage collector and reseller specializing in mid-century items, specifically holiday, glass, knickknacks, linens, textiles, anything really from the 50s, 60s, 70s that kind of catches my eye. We are going to look at uh, what we're going to be selling at the auction this week. So we're going to do a little uh, walk through the auction, see what we're selling, take a look. And then we're going to jump into a haul video and see what I bought and talk a little bit about it. So stay tuned. <laughs> Let's see what we've found so far. That's cute. Lots of lamps. Lots and lots of lamps. The long pieces before the Royal Indianapolis 500. I can bring numbers. A unicycle. That's pretty much the furniture. Let's look at the box slots for right. See the top here. All games. Toys. Show business game. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's all there. Small postcards. More Christmas lights, more games. These are some uranium, but looks like they're chipped. I have that tray. Let's take it over here. Lots of books and books and more books. Tins galore, lots of tins. Or huge boxes, pots and pans. More tins. Somebody really liked the tins. So that's about it. Let's go look at this small stuff. I'm going to apologize for the noise ahead of time. As you know, we don't have air conditioning here, so. We have lots of fans running. Some belt buckles. That's pretty cool. Fairway ginger ale. Some fiesta wear. Bowls. 
a little bit of jewelry. Like some newer stuff. Some beads. Nothing exciting. Nice piece of my boy here. Some pajamas. Like this. Flatware. I'm going to assume this is flatware as well. Lots of beer signs and toys. This is cute. LT set. No flagpole. A pencil case. For those of you that love Harley and are getting married, these are fun. What's in this box? Here we got some Christmas. Let's see what's in here. Light bulbs. These are pretty rough, these guys. I do like these, but they might be out for a specific reason. Interesting. These are really nice grains. Make a nice big stock for them. Some Pyrex. Nice aluminum pitcher. Some little matchbox soaps. Little Tim's a cute. Oh, a whole stack of Valentine's. They're cute. Oh, yeah, they're empty. I like the boxes. Ooh. I'll get one open to see what's in it. Oh. Well. There's an unsilvered one. Oh, they're not too bad. All right. I'm going to put these back here in a second and finish with the toy. Peanut butter glasses. A lot of Linux. Some military models. Markers. Where's the flat word? Some fun picture frames. This is intriguing. Lovely set of china here. Who makes this? Wedgwood. Look over here. Lots of cats. Plug in and air freshener. A new extended edition here.
Okay, dice are fun. Christmas thing. Pretty. Here's some ceramic Christmas trees. I like this tiny little one, but there's not a base. And these, I like this one, but they all need a little work, and I have so many of them, so. I don't know about those, we'll probably go for a good bit, but that is what we have tonight, so stay tuned to see what I ended up with. I really didn't have a lot of items on my list to buy. There was a few things that I liked. Um, I did pick up some stuff. I did have to pay up for some stuff, some things I got for a bargain. Um, these two items came in a lot. This is a really nice egg plate, which... To be honest with you, these have been selling pretty good lately. So I picked that up. I really like this lighter because it had the bola conti in the bottom. However, the part of the top is missing and it looks to be cracked the whole way through here. So you can see there's a line. So that's gonna get, um, we're gonna donate that or do something with it. To me, I'm not gonna sell something that's broken. But the egg dish itself, this should be, I think I paid like maybe for the lot of things, including this really cool Art Deco lamp. Got a glass base, jadeite. Um, I think I paid $8 for the lot of it. So we should be able to get maybe 15 for this, 15 for this. So we'll, we'll do okay. So those two things were in one lot. Move them over here. Uh, let's see here. What else do we want to get? Now, there's a couple things in here. Again, I bought for a gift. I am not going to show those just because I know the person that um, their birthday's coming up and I don't want them to see it. And I know they'll see it in the video. So they're going to just stay in the box. But I got that whole stack of Valentines. So there's some really nice older ones in here. Look at that. But really, I think probably 30s, 40s, probably. And they're in really good shape. Let me skip through a couple of them. But I think what I'm going to try to do is maybe do maybe one or two lots of them. I don't think there's any in here that I will keep um, for myself. Maybe there's one or two. But um, I really think for the most part. Oh, this is an Easter one. So there's a 1933 on that one. There's that cute one. But the, there's some really, really cute ones. There's a little cheerleader. A lion. Let's see. A little fireman here. And these are great for... There's this cute little robber guy. But these are great for using your flower frogs. Look at that one, very cute. Let's see. And I, I mix them in as you, if you haven't seen my video on the Valentine's Day stuff, um, I use them, kind of mix them in, use some, some picks to hold them together. Um, this one's got a little bit of metallic to it, which I really like. There was one in here I wanted to show you. This one is adorable. Where is it? Cute little couple on a car. And where is the one I was looking for? Oh, this one has the honeycomb on it. So it's very cute. It's 
cute little dog. But as you can see, a nice assortment of them, a good stock. I think I paid like $20, $25 for them. Um, Cause we don't see them that much when, we, when they're coming through auction anymore. So I grabbed those. I did get this really nice aluminum tumbler set. So there's the pitcher and it's in pretty good shape. There's some watermarks on the inside. I think that could be cleaned up. And then you got two, you got a total of eight tumblers and they're in pretty good shape. You got the blue, red, green, gold. Um, and it's nice to have eight of them. So I picked that up. I think I paid maybe $15 for that. So I should expect to get 30, $35 for it. Um, they've been selling pretty well for me. Now I did pick up the two little pink bottle brush trees and this little log cabin. The trees are going to stay with me for my collection because I love the reddish pink color. This little cabin is very cute. It's wood. It's not like paper mache or uh, cardboard. So that one I might sell. It's got a little stress crack right there, but it's adorable. So we'll put that up. Um, I bought the lot of frames that were up there. So this one actually wasn't in the lot, but I had picked it up. I forget where I got it, um, but it was a swinging frame. So I have this one. I just had it sitting off to the side for some reason. I don't know why, and I don't think I ever showed it. So, but I did get this, the three swinging frames. So this one here, they're great in fantastic shape with their art deco. The silver color is great. These actually are the little swivel ones. So you can, they're side swivels. And there's a pair of those. And I am going to include the pictures in the frames because um, I feel like they should stay there. And then whoever buys them can kind of do what they want with them if they want to sell them or take them out or put their own pictures in. But it also came with a couple other frames. This one was very cute with the it's like hand painted. Maybe it's made in Italy. I don't know. It's, it's kind of cute. I thought somebody might like that. This one has an oval glass. This is an older one. It has an oval glass um, piece here. And the glass is um, bubbled. And this was a nice surprise. This is sterling. So this little one is sterling. Unfortunately, the back on it is missing. So it's just the frame. But um, sterling, why not? Hey, I'll take that all day. So those were a nice pickup. Just moving some stuff around here because there's something under here that I want to show you guys. So move this over there. I usually buy like stainless flatware. I do really well with it. Um, this set, I wasn't really in love with it, but I was in love with the box. Uh, let me just show you the box. It needs to be cleaned up, but look at this box. It's very 1950s. It's got the pink and gray lining. Let me see here. Oh, as I'm dropping it here. Um, it was for community plate. But the thing I liked about it is you can actually take the, the, um, and it's raw silk on top of cardboard. So you can actually take these out. Um, I don't think the silverware is original to the box. The silverware is Rogers Brothers. And it's in a very nice traditional pattern. I forget what the pattern is called. I have a book that tells you all the patterns. But it looks like it's for service two, four, six, eight. So I'll probably sell the silverware separate and then clean the box up and put my own silverware in it. I don't have real silverware. I have silver plate or stainless um it's just <laughs> i don't like having like fancy stuff like that because it makes me nervous but um so i'll clean the box up polish it up then put my stainless or silver plate in there that i use on a rare occasion so that was a good find and i think i paid 15 dollars for the box and the items in it so the last thing i'm going to show you i did get the stack of christmas ornaments 
The boxes themselves, um, I'll show you here. These red and green boxes are not very common. I'm trying to think which one is which. This is the one. There are some ornaments in the box, um, on both boxes. This is a very nice unsilvered ornament with the tinsel in the middle. Um, there's a couple nice shiny brights in here. So, um, I did pay up. The boxes themselves can actually bring pretty good money. Um, I think I paid 80 or $90 for both boxes. I know that sounds like a lot. Um, I actually think I might keep one box for myself for display purposes and then sell this other box of ornaments. And I should be able to actually recoup the cost um, selling the one box with the ornaments. I mean, there's some really cool shiny brights in here. And then selling some of the other ornaments in the other box, like the unsilvered one. But yeah, these were um, Max Eckerd and Sons. Uh, these shiny brights were made for them. So let me see if I can tip this up so you guys can get a better look. But there's some really nice ones in there um, that are glittered. And like I said, the boxes are in really nice shape. So I was happy to happy to grab those. They also came with the two smaller boxes of basic ornaments. So if anybody out there needs some basic ornaments for crafting, um, let me know. I'll, I'll list them because some of these are missing the toppers on them. But they're the nice smaller size. As you can see, I think they would make a great wreath or whatever you want to use them for. Um, yeah, um, I did I did have to pay up for it. Um, but like I said, those red and green boxes, I couldn't find any sold comps on eBay, which tells me something. I saw a lot of the beige with the green tree, red writing, but not a lot of, I think I found one on Pinterest from like 2014. So um, I, I think they're, they're pretty hard to find. Also, with, I forgot to show you, also with that lot with the little red trees, I did get this cast iron bird bath, and then this one little lady came with it. So I'll probably sell the cast iron bird bath and the lady together, even though, as you can see, the cast iron bird bath is, is taller than the lady. But um, this would be really cute for a little dollhouse or a little you know, fairy garden or something. This is an older piece, so it's, it's a nice one, nice, nice quality. But I think that's all I got last week. I didn't, like I said, I, there wasn't a ton of stuff. Um, we actually, I'm doing this video, the sale was Monday, and I'm doing this video um, <laughs> Saturday. It's been a, a very busy week. I'm gonna take some get some water there. Um, we did actually have an auction this morning, which was mainly tools. I did get some stuff that I'll show you. Surprisingly, I wasn't, I wasn't planning on buying anything, but I did find some stuff. And we don't have an auction this coming week because um, there's some vacations um, with some of the staff. And so the following week is going to be a lot of newer things and a lot of doilies and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm, I'm doing listings, hustling. Um, tomorrow I have like 20 packages to get out that since Friday morning. So it's been a very busy weekend. So all of you out there that are subscribers that watch the video, thank you so much. If you, if you uh, purchase some items, um, I very much appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching, because I know there's quite a few of you out there that are not subscribers, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And at the same time, if you like the video and you like the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I always like to hear um, what everybody's favorite thing that I purchased was. So let me know, leave a uh, comment down below what you liked. I do appreciate everybody tuning in. I thank you so much for doing it and uh, we will see you on the next one.